Hello YouTube, welcome to a new Unity 3D Space tutorial. So what I want to do in this tutorial is do something cool again, something different, what most space games don't have. Uh, I don't know, I don't really play that many space games, but still. But what I want to do is when you come into the range of the sun, you can actually begin collecting solar flares kind of thing. So you can gather f gather fuels, energy cells, stuff like that. Then you can go away with conventional like shop and you can sell it to them. So you've got some kind of money income if you like so you can get unlimited resources but here's the catch it takes your health down because you're going to be inside the atmosphere so um first thing we need to do is create a new type of atmosphere inside it called the fuel scoop place so if you're in the atmosphere yeah it's going to be hurting you but you have to get really up close in order to gather fuel but we're going to add extra features to it so if you are fuel scooping you can't use your weapons so if you're being chased by enemies and you try to fuel scoop, you're gonna lose it. It's a kind of thing. So your shield will tick down, and if you die, you lose it. End of. But if you don't, and you get it, it'll slowly tick up and give you stuff. That looks like a real supernova. That looks cool. Anyway, so we're gonna duplicate our atmosphere, and we're gonna call it Fuel Scoop Atmosphere. In fact, we'll just call it Fuel Scoop Zone. It's easy to type. So we've got that, but I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller than the atmosphere. So I'm going to turn light off as well before it blinds us, and I'll disable. Well, there we go. But I'll just bring it in just a little bit. So if you look at the atmosphere there, you have to come into this zone here, so it's going to be hurting you. But then when you come into this atmosphere here, we're going to try to make it say um, it won't double your damage, but you'll be receiving a lot of damage from being up close. So if you've got a slow ship, it'll take you for a while to get in there and a while to get out. Because if you look how close these are, it's going to take you a while to get in. So. Obviously we're going to need an icon, so we're going to go to our character and open up our collisions. So we have it here, and what we can do is we come down and we've got a collider for money and ice collider, that's right. We've got our items there, then we've got our damage here. So we've got system wall, enemy bullet, we don't need to worry about that. This is where we want to look. So if the card tag equals space atmosphere, which it does, which is correct, then inside here we're going to put if call.gameobject.name equals fuel scoop um, zone yeah so if it's eating something called fuel scoop zone then in here we put begin fuel scoop simple as that otherwise we put else and then it does everything else so if it's hitting something called fuel scoop zone then it'll do it otherwise it won't there may be one glitch with that which we'll have to look at in a minute, but when we test it, um, my theory is if you're hitting something called fuel scoop zone, then it's not going to give you damage when you're there, and we need it to do both. But we can have a look at that in a minute. So, fuel scoop zone thing, so here. So we'll just type print um, start fuel scoop. Perfect. So we can play it, fly all the way over to there, which will take forever, so I'm going to drag our character. All the way over here to this planet here. So if we click the sun, we are very close. So we have to go a little bit, then it should stop printing. We are here. So if we look where the planet is, it's there. So that means the sun's that way. So as you can see, we've hit it now, and we are very, very close to being dead. So when we begin fuel scooping, we are not going to get very far on it. But it's We've got low ship. So don't forget when this dies, we respawn. We've already set that up, so we've got to be careful. One thing I've noticed is that beeps there over the pause button. So if you ever wanted to hit pause, you can't. So we may have to move that message eventually. But we need another message saying fuel scoop active weapons disabled. I've already got that. And then we need an icon so you can click it or you press F or something on your keyboard and it'll start fuel scooping. So we can try it. So down here, we need to first enable something that says fuel scoop active. Easy enough. So we go game object dot find, and then we'll type. We'll, well, we need to create the script first. That'll help. So we'll go to our where we're we gonna put it. We'll do it in items. Yes. Space. Right click. Create JavaScript. And obviously, you don't want me to. There we go. Fuel scoop active in fact we'll just type fuel scoop that'll do and we'll assign that to our misc scripts because we don't really need it on our main character so we have it here so the first thing we need to do when it's active is we need to actually detect if it's active 
So we'll just down here. So function update if input dot get key up. Yeah, and then we'll say f for fuel scoop, why not? And we'll make a private boolean as well to say when it is on or off. Private var fuel scoop. In fact, we'll just put is active, it's easier. Boolean equals false. So by default, it's false. And here, we'll put, well, in here, if is active equals true, or another tip is you can just put is active is active then is active equals false then we put else if active equals true so if it equals true that basically means if you want to say if it equals false you can just put an exclamation mark it does the same thing as typing equals equals true the exact same thing so if it equals true when you press f it'll make it false otherwise it'll make it true easy enough that should work so we need somewhere to detect well it's true what we're doing now so below this we'll just type if um, is active equals true or just is active then my plan is when this script's active then it'll be doing it but as soon as you leave it then it'll stop doing it completely so it's kind of like that so we'll do that part in a minute we'll jump back to our collisions and what we're going to do is actually enable that script so game object dot find misc scripts dot get component and then we'll type fuel scoop dot enabled equals true so if we enter it and it equals fuel scoop zone makes it true easy enough and I'm just going to remove these because I can tell that's going to throw a weird glitch so there fuel scoop zone it starts going beep 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 so that works perfect I think so we're going to copy that and we need it so when we exit the atmosphere as well so right here we can just put it there as well so if we ex exit something called space tag, if the calls that game object name is fuel scoop, then we turn fuel scooping off. But something I also do want to do is make is active. So we'll just do that. And what we're going to do is set is active to false. Otherwise, when you go into it and you press fuel scoop, it'll make it true. So you exit it, then as soon as you come back, it'll instead begin fuel scooping. And that's not what some people want. Some people might not play it like that. So we'll just put is active equals false and that equals false. Easy enough. So that's him. So we've got it so far. So we'll just type print um, started scooping, just like that. So that should work, and all that's there. So the only thing what's left is to go and test it. But as I said, we'll die quick. So I'm going to turn our shield up to a thousand. So we have a big shield, and we can withstand a lot. So at the moment, we've got no idea when we can begin field scooping. So I'm halfway in. I don't know if I'm there or not. We press F. And it started scooping, perfect. So we're set there going nom, 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 nom. So if we go to fuel scoop is active right there. So if we turn around and try to fly out, I don't know which way. To... So that's worked. It stopped fuel scooping, but it didn't actually turn it active or disable the script because we never disabled it in the first place. But yeah. So we need some way to actually make it do it because it's not clearly not doing it and this isn't clearly not working. So what we're going to do is just take this out and paste it just below it, that simple. So if we exit something called space atmosphere, it'll do that, but then it'll also come down and check this one as well. So we know it works, we've got that far. So we need something that now says, shows a GUI, a message box, and we already have a message box, so we can use that. So if we go to GUI scripts and on screen actions, we'll create a new one for it because it'll just be easy to create a new one. So we have pause background texture, pause button. So I'm going to come down here and type um, fuel scooping. And we'll type var fuel button texture. Be a texture 2D, just like that. So I'm only going to have one so you click it and it activates it. We actually do need another one. So um, pause button clicked. So when you click it, it'll change its texture. So that should work. So these are the icons I got for the fuel scoop button. So we have a normal black icon and then a red icon for when you've clicked it. So you can click on off, on off, on off, on off. So if we go to our GUI scripts, we can assign that to the two here. Click and click like that. Perfect. So we go back and we need it to do the exact same as what pressing F does. So pressing F at the moment does that. So we copy it and we go and choose it. It's that simple. So down here, so if pause active equals true equals false so we need it here. 
So just down here we'll type if gy.button rect and I want it the same 960 across but I want it down by 64. I just do. So 64, it'll be 64, 64 wide again. So uh, then we'll put comma and we'll put the name of it. So I believe it was fuel scoop texture. Fuel scoop texture. And then we can fill out our button with its program right. So there. However, that won't work at the moment because it doesn't know what is active is. So instead, we're just going to type game object dot find um, miss scripts dot get component fuel scoop dot is active equals true. So place that in front of every single one, just like that. So it'll test it. Is it true? Is it not? And it'll activate it like it should. So that would work perfect. So only thing is, when the fuel scoop's active, we need to swap the textures around, else it'll not understand what it's doing. So, if fuel scoop active equals false, then we put a bracket, and put another one. Then here, we'll just type, in fact we'll do it at the top to save variables, var temp texture, and this will be a texture 2D. So what this temporary texture's used is that it's going to swap out the two textures, so one's going to be assigned into there. So as soon as it's false, we need to first make sure the first texture, so this fuel scoop texture, is the fuel scoop texture one, so the first one. So we're going to say temp texture. See, this is where it gets confusing. We're just going to do it another way. It's just far easier. We're basically going to say fuel scoop texture is its overall texture, so this one. But we're going to have another one. So we're going to say fuel scoop non-clicked texture is the non-click texture and then fuel scoop clicked is the right one because then it helps when doing it so just right here we'll type fuel scoop texture equals fuel scoop non-active texture so that one's right we copy it paste it in here like so and then it's the clicked texture just like that so it'll just easily swap out the textures now so that should work 100%. We have that, we have this bit, which is the part where we actually start implementing the activity of it. But the tutorial is getting quite long, so I'm going to have to drop it here pretty much. It's kind of a bad drop for now, I know. Please don't blame me for that. But as you can see, it's there. So we click it and it should change it. There, just like that look. Perfect. But we haven't assigned a second one, so we'll just click that and drag it to there. So now they've both got the correct textures. There is one thing I need to check before we go, and it's here, because if we click this, it's going to activate that variable no matter what, whether it's active or not. And this has already been programmed to turn the script on or off. So what we're going to say is if component is enabled, then it does it, otherwise it doesn't do anything. So if scoop, so our fuel scoop script dot enabled equals true so that means we've actually hit a atmosphere then it can do that and that should work perfectly so one more test then we're going to do a land tutorial then i'm going to come back and do this again so it gives you a little bit of break you can position it wherever you like make it smaller bigger whatever you like so i'm think i'm tempted to make it smaller myself damn so as you can see it won't do anything when we press it but if we fly down here We'll get a beep, 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 correct? Then we press it, there. So we're fuel scooping now. Press F, and it should disable it. So we've got a lot of glitches to work with, like if we press F or we press the button and it has to put the right texture on, but we can do that eventually and it'll work fine. So the only thing is what we have to do now is actually make it work and fix the bugs. I'll do it next tutorial so this one isn't so long. Thank you for watching. I really hope you liked it. Sorry if it's been a bit rushed, but it is a big thing to do. It's not small, and I'll see you next time.